What kind of car is that? I thought it's a Kia. Oh, it don't look like a Kia. Well, I thought you had a BMW. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ariana Monet. I'm back with another video, and this is things I don't like about my Kia K5 or things that suck. Now, first, I just want to say this car is absolutely beautiful. I love this car. This car is perfect. Perfect. But I spent my hard-earned money on this car, so I have the right to complain about some things, okay? All right. First, we're going to start off with the Apple CarPlay. It's 2023. Well, I bought this car in 2022. I bought this bitch in 2021. I'm sorry, y'all. Bought this car in 2021. Why are we still using wires for Apple CarPlay? Why don't we have Bluetooth Apple CarPlay? I don't know if that's a Kia thing or if that's an all-around thing. I feel like that's just a car thing in general. But like, I just feel like we should just have wireless Apple CarPlay. Like, what's up with that? I don't understand. I feel like since I bought this car when it was so new, it had some factory, not really like factory type glitches, but just like some new car glitches like... Okay, when I first got it, I kept having weird pop-ups like this. And I guess, like, they were saying there was something wrong with, like, the camera or something. So, I had to, like, go back and get it, like, fixed. But that was just annoying. Sometimes, it's, this happened more, mainly when I first got it. Sometimes I would turn the car off, like, literally press the stop button. And then I would open the door and my car would be like, you didn't turn your car off. And I'd be like, I literally just clicked a button. Like, what are you talking about? So, I would literally have to come in, turn my car on, and then turn it off again. Which is just annoying. I just didn't have to do that. Like, this is a new car, like stop playing with me and literally for the new kids they made it so you have to go to the kia dealership to get an oil change like you can't go anywhere else i try to go to take five which is where i normally go and i couldn't even go there and like i don't really have a problem with going to kia necessarily but i know the oil change is gonna be a hundred dollars and that's not even really the issue the issue is like me going out of my way to go to the dealership and i know they're gonna try to get me to get something else while i'm there because like they always be trying to scam me because i'm a girl and i just i just want to get my oil change and get in and get out of there you know okay it got all day running lights Okay, these are the ones I'm talking about. The little orange ones at the bottom, like, they don't turn off. I like it, and I don't. The lights is cute, but sometimes, if I'm trying to, like, hot box or something, I need to be able to turn the lights off. I think there's a way to do, like, stealth mode or something. One of my car, one of my friends, my male friends was telling me that he into cars, and I'm like, that's just doing too much. Like, I should, they should just be able to just be off. Like, they shouldn't have to be on all day, 24-7, like. I want to be able to turn them off. If I want to go incognito, if I want to pull up on somebody and I don't need them seeing me, I should be able to do that. But that's not really that big of a deal, though. But So the little accident feature or whatever, like if you get too close to a car, it start beeping. I personally, I like driving reckless. So, like, I know what I'm doing. My car be beeping all the time. Like, girl, like, shut up. Like, I know what I'm doing. I see that car right there. Somehow I do like it if it's somebody in my blind spot and I really wasn't paying attention. But usually when it's beeping, I'm just kind of annoyed because I'm like, first of all, I see the car right there. Stop beeping. But I guess I appreciate it. But then also one time I was literally trying to back out of parking spot. I'm literally got my foot on the brake. You know, pump, you know, pumping the brake because I use somebody behind you. My car literally stopped, like literally slammed on the brake. And I'm like, dude, the car wasn't even that close. Like, I know what I'm doing. It be it be doing too much sometimes. Like, I appreciate the safety features, but it really be doing too much. It's never really saved me from hitting anybody, per se, besides the blind spot thing. But it's kind of annoying. I like it, though. You know, safety. But it's annoying. This is really just me being picky. But I wish they had, like, heated seats or a heated steering wheel. I do live in Dallas, and it don't be cold all the time. But it do be cold, and my little fingers be cold. My booty be cold. I wish I had heating seats. Or at least a heated steering wheel would be lit that's not really nothing major but i just think it will be a cool little addition i've had this car for a while and i still don't know what these do honestly like this is obviously like hang up the car but like what is uvo i know it's some kia stuff and then the i i don't know therefore i've tried pressing these before but don't really do nothing so i mean if you know let me know but it's also that button right here but i don't really know what it means honestly Another thing I really don't like about this car is it's too sexy. Like, every time I'm out, people be looking up. I just seen people outside looking up on my windows like this. Like, first of all, back up. Nobody told you you could touch my car. Like, chill, relax. It's just too sexy. People just can't handle it. They be like, is that a Kia? They don't be like that. They be like, what kind of car is that? I'm like, it's a Kia. Oh, it don't look like a Kia. Well, I thought you had a BMW. Nope. 
tricked up. <laughs> like I said, it's not me trying to hate on this car or anything because I love this car. This car is absolutely amazing. I probably wouldn't even really change much about it. Besides just a little me nitpicking. But I paid my money for this so I can nitpick a little bit. Um, But yeah, I really love this car. If you like me, you want more videos, please subscribe to the channel. Comment. Please comment. Like, let me know if y'all got any questions or anything. Just let, let me know. And subscribe. I'm out of here.